Okay, so the second concept of keywords that you want to know after search volume is called keyword difficulty. So the definition here for keyword difficulty by Ahrefs is keyword difficulty estimates how hard it will be to rank in the top 10 organic search results. That's page one of Google, basically, for a given keyword in a given location. It's calculated by taking a weighted average of the number of linking domains, blah, 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 logarithmic, zero to 100. So what you need to know about keyword difficulty is that it's um, how hard it is to rank for a keyword, key, KD, keyword difficulty. How hard is it to rank for a keyword on a scale of zero to 100? Now, as they said in the definition, this is a logarithmic scale. So what that basically means is that the scale looks like this. So if this is a keyword difficulty here of zero, right there, and this is a keyword difficulty, so we have zero, we have like maybe 10 is right here, maybe 25 is right here, and up here is 100. The jump to go from 10 to 25 is not that much difficult, is not that difficult compared to the jump from 25 to whatever. And then every time you're going up the scale, it's getting, it gets increasingly harder to, um, to rank for it. That's pretty much the best way I can describe it. So what I'm trying to say is a, key, a keyword difficulty of one is clearly easier to rank for than a keyword difficulty of two, but it's not, this is not necessarily twice as hard to rank for. Whereas if you had a keyword difficulty of 85 and a keyword difficulty of 86, this is only a one point difference. You can see this is double, but this is, this is much harder to do. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but essentially what keyword difficulty means is how hard is it gonna to be to rank for this keyword? How hard and how long, okay? So that's what she said. Now, you can see the estimate right here, 70, that's extremely hard. This is make money online. Why would that keyword be so hard to rank for? Well, so many people are trying to rank for make money online because any person that is searching make money online is probably gonna buy something. They're gonna buy a program or a course or like they're gonna buy something, right? You're gonna be able to sell them something. So the, the more searches that something gets, the more content there is out there, that kind of determines keyword difficulty, but also how many links uh, those articles have. So for example, if I Google something like the word Home Depot, there are 352 million results for Home Depot, okay? What if I Google weather? There are 1.75 billion results for weather. What if I Google make money online? 3.6 billion results for that. Home Depot only has 352 million. Well, Home Depot is actually gonna be harder to rank for than make money online, even though there's way more people you're competing against. Because to rank for Home Depot, like that's a branded term. That's the name of a brand and Google knows that. And to, for you to be able to rank for Home Depot is pretty much gonna be impossible unless you're Home Depot, right? Everything on here is Home Depot's Facebook page, Home Depot's Wikipedia page, Home Depot's Instagram page, an article on Forbes about Home Depot. So keyword difficulty, takes a number of things into consideration, but basically what you need to know is how much work and how long is it gonna take for me to be able to rank for this. So make money online, keyword difficulty of 70, but it gets searched 68,000 times a month on average. How to make money online, 75,000 times a month on average, that's the search volume. But if you can rank for this term, although it will take a while and it will be pretty expensive, you can probably make a lot of money. Whereas if you're gonna rank for Home Depot, like, even though it's going to take, let, let's see what the keyword difficulty is of Home Depot. The keyword difficulty is 75. So it's even harder to rank for Home Depot and it gets 22 million searches a month. But if you rank for Home Depot, like it's going to be kind of hard for you to make money because everyone searching for Home Depot doesn't want to go to your fucking blog. They want to find a Home Depot near them or, or shop online at Home Depot or something. So keyword difficulty doesn't tell the whole story. Neither does search volume because personally I would rather rank for uh, how to make money online even though it has less searches than I would for Home Depot because I know that no people searching for Home Depot don't want to go to my, my website. 
I might be able to make a lot of money like doing some some weird stuff, but in general, that's the idea. Uh, let's take a look at another one. High blood pressure. Huge KD, difficulty of 89. But it gets searched 195,000 times a month. Would you rather rank for high blood pressure or would you rather rank for best supplement for high blood pressure? Well, you'd get a hell of a lot more traffic ranking for high blood pressure, but it would take forever and it would be extraordinarily expensive to try and rank for that. Whereas this one has a keyword difficulty of 20, it'd, it'd be a lot faster to rank for it. It'd be a lot easier to rank for it. It'd be a lot cheaper to rank for it. It doesn't have as much search volume, but someone searching for this is ready to buy your, to buy your supplement. Someone searching for this might be doing a paper on high blood pressure or just have no intention at all to buy um, a supplement, right? Whereas we know that the intent behind this keyword is much stronger to purchase. It's way easier to rank for. We'll do it faster and we'll do it easier and we'll do it cheaper rather than here. So search volume doesn't tell the whole picture. Keyword difficulty doesn't tell the whole picture. It's a combination of keyword difficulty, search volume, and what is the intent behind the keyword. Am I searching this with the intention to spend money? Probably not. Am I searching this with the intention to spend money? Probably.